That's amazing that this thing didn't fall off. Thank you for holding up for the bit. Con season is upon us! Oh, hmm. And I am not con country because I already did that once this year and I do not want to do it again. I probably will end up doing it anyways, but shh, 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 don't worry about it. It's fine. We'll be fine. The convention that I'm going to is in June. It is March 26th. I have time, but I don't want to be con crunching. And you're probably asking yourself, oh, who are we doing? Um, well, I hope you read the title of this video because it tells you. But in case you didn't, for some reason, we are indeed doing Briar Rose from Sleeping Beauty. She is my favorite Disney princess and I love her and I've wanted to cosplay her since like 2016. It is 2022. I don't know why I had to check the date. In this video, I want to get her bodice, like her shirt done. And then I am gonna try to also get the corset in this video. Not sure if that's a thing that's gonna happen. Basically, it depends whether or not I wanna put boning in it. <laughs> boning. No, it's not. So that's today's plan. Um, and by today's I mean this week's plan because I'm- I have to be somewhere in an hour, so I'm probably only gonna be able to put the patterns together because I have to buy all my patterns on Etsy because I hate buying commercial patterns because if I buy commercial patterns I have to like really shrink them down and I hate resizing them. So I buy them off Etsy. So if you want any of the links to any of the patterns I used, they are down in the description. You're welcome. I have all this muslin. It's it's a lot, and this isn't even all of it. Um, and so I think I'm gonna completely make her dress out of this. And the plan is to do her dress, her, her shirt, her corset, her skirt, and her petticoat. Which I know isn't super prominent in the film, but I want to make one because uh, yeah. So yeah, that's basically the plan, and I'll be dying this probably later tonight or tomorrow morning. It depends basically how I feel after, or how much time I have once I get home, because I'm supposed to be somewhere in an hour. But for now, I am going to put together some patterns, and I will check in with you when I'm done with that. Or when I get home. Could go both ways. <laughs> Molly Ryan declares that aeroplane riding she dares. Her sweetheart began to think of a plan where they could be wed overhead. So he said, I will get an airship right away. A neat one to hold about two. Then smiling with joy, he said to her boy, you're the captain and I am the crew. Take me up. Up, up in the theory of way, up to the sky. Sail around the moon for a quiet moon, just the past and you and I. Let us float, float, float through the clouds and just have a lot of fun. We'll go up, up, up as two and then come down as one. Take me up along with you, me darling, do, and let us go away into a latitude about as near as anybody that has ever reached the sky. We can sail around the lunar planet, making love and hugging every time it can, with nobody in the aeroplane except the past you and I. We could float a little flying boat a little while we wrote a little scented note, a little subsequent to passing through the clouds and having lots of fun. We'll go up into the sweetest sky of blue, and on ascending we will figure up a two, but on returning to old terra firma we will be as one. Now Molly goes up every day, while Barney, her sweetheart, must stay alone down below where messages go of wireless love to his dove far above. And then Molly replies, don't you see, just three letters C, Q and D. Their meaning is clear, it's come quickly, dear. Then he answers, oh, please wait for me. Take me up, up, up with you, dearie, away up to the sky. Sail around the moon for a quiet moon, just the past and you and I. Let us float, float, float through the clouds and just have a lot of fun. We'll go up, 
up, up as two, and then come down as one. Take me up along with you, me darling, do, and let us go away into a latitude about as near as anybody that has ever reached the sky. We can sail around the lunar planet, making love and hugging every time it's can with nobody in the aeroplane except the past you and I. We could float a little flying boat a little while we wrote a little scented note, a little subsequent to passing through the clouds and having lots of fun. We'll go up into the sweetest tire blue, and on ascending we will figure up a two, but on returning to old terra firma we will be as one. me look at the camera you have to lean down because you're taller than me and I don't want to move the camera just like this yeah. this is my brother I don't know if he's in frame because I honestly I don't have my viewfinder on but um he laced up my corset thanks okay you can go behind the camera now okay, you want me to go get no I don't yeah. want him thank you so, anyways I finished the dress though I kind of messed up the whole the background noise you're hearing is my brother putting him away. I finished the dress and it's like really pretty and I'm really proud of it. There's definitely some things that I could have done way better. I've also never done corsetting like this before, so that was a whole experience. The shirt, a little messed up. It's okay though, because you can't tell. I hope. Gotta find out. Anyways, it looks really good though. It's 100% handmade and I'm really proud of it. Um, yeah, I have to take this off. Anyways, um, my dear friends Nori and Kyle are coming over and they're gonna help me shoot. Some photos that you'll all see on Instagram later, but I'm super excited about this. I look so pretty. Thank you. My brother was my biggest hype man. That's all. Small friends running around right now. So, good times. <laughs> oh my god, it's like those indie shadows. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, he's so elegant. <laughs> my life flashed before my eyes. 